30 seconds until minions spawn. That didn't go well at all. <laughs> they were waiting for our invade. Nautilus could have blind hooked into the bush, but yeah, it's uh, it's a tough call to make, definitely. Welcome, my fellow misfortunates, to this new episode of Unranked to Diamond. This is a Platinum 1 solo queue. We're back down at 0 LP because obviously we lost the last game and the game after that. Um, we got an AFK support. Literally AFK. It was a 4v5 and we surrendered at 15. So back at 0 LP, Platinum 1. Uh, today, however, I want to show you a, a Jin build that I think is very interesting. Sneaky has been experimenting with Umbral Glaive Jin, and I think Umbral Glaive makes a lot of sense on this champion. As one of Jin's main weaknesses is he's not really able to clear wards because of his um, auto attack mechanic. And with Umbral Glaive, you have such a nice quality of life buff. Nice, with the fourth shot on Kaiser. But it's a regular crit build. I mean, you go Infinity Edge afterwards, right? And then uh, Rapid Fire kind of mostly. In this game, we're definitely going to stack some armor because they are full AD slash on hit. Alright, level 2. Good enough, I guess. Well played. Need to push this as fast as possible. Without missing the kind of minion. We're healthy enough. Okay, I think going back here is... Fine, or Ashley? No, Leona blocked it. Oh, goodness. I never flash there, because that just kills me. Kaisa died too, so I guess it's fine. She now loses... ...this wave. Okay, so this is where we base, I think. Um, I really like double Dorans on Jin or on AD carries in general, because um, Legend Bloodline got nerfed a while back and it stacks very slowly. The extra 3% in the lane phase really matter. Don't sleep on this. So this plus boots, and uh, we can upgrade to Tabby soon. We can obviously also work towards Umbral Glaive. Sneaky did not buy this first, but I really don't see any reason not to buy this first. Might as well. Get maximum value out of the ward detection. And uh, also the, the lethality is early game. Uh, it's... Well, it's also... It scales into the late game a little bit, but in the early game, people have such... Or players have such low... Champions have such low base armor that uh, the lethality really packs a punch, right? Free sets. Should 
Archer to get our minions. We have item advantage over Kaiser, one extra Dorance Blade. In the early game, it's so strong. Okay, not... Not in our lane. Oh, that's nice. We went for a dive and Cassiopeia actually turned it. That's crucial. To be careful, Nautilus left me. Did Len miss? Alright. Okay, Nocturne's still there. <clears throat> yeah, Warwick took Drake. Very early. I mean, that's what he does, kinda. We should have. Seen it coming, I guess. Maybe put on a ward. This also just should position more aggressively. This, these um, attempts to trap them, they're not paying off really. He just gives up lane priority for no reason. That's fine. This aimed. So did he. Yeah, okay, take it. Fiddle is on his way. Ah, oh, damn. I need to aim so it doesn't get blocked by Leona, but it's a little bit difficult. Didn't quite make it. Yeah, they're all bot lane. Okay, they had a ward. Sure. Warwick is here. He wants to gank. Let's help the fiddle six. Oh no, I can't see. <laughs> sure thing, Leona. Got her. Ooh. Nice. That's very good. We get boots. This is a good wave. Uh, I will be there in time. We get this and we get this. So you obviously Swifties are very nice for Jin because uh, he scales very well with movement speed. But look at their team. I mean, they're full AD plus Kaisa who does kind of mixed damage. And Leona who doesn't matter. Uh, but Tabi is so good against um, auto-attack based champions and it gives armor. So this is just perfect for their team. Nice. Clean. We just push here so Kaiser misses as many minions as possible. I'm just messing around with Leona here. She can't do much to me. I see Nocturne, so it's fine. Okay, that was awkward. <laughs> Just missed all my minions for free. Okay, 
He's also buying armor already, which is nice. Uh, I, I play with chat disabled nowadays, simply because I don't think it's worth it. Uh, but you can still make calls macro-wise pre-game. In the lobby, I just uh, I wrote that we should stack armor and uh, commented on their team composition. You can still make calls through these means. Could flash auto her. Okay. Yes, I'll die. <laughs> we wanted too much there, that's for sure. Also, we didn't watch the map as we played. So yeah, mistakes happen. <laughs> they should die for this, though. At least he. I get a very awkward back timing here. I don't get to use 700 of my gold. And selling this is obviously always wrong. But uh, I guess we're still in a strong position. Kaisa is in a, in a, in a power trough because of uh, spending 800 gold on tier. Plus. Nice. Yeah, I, I think I hard shuff and then I buy my Umbra Glaive. Seems like a good idea. Take one plating. That's good enough. If she goes for W, she probably W's this bush and not this one. Nah, I'm always leaving here. Okay, so next up, Infinity Edge. We get a very, very strong power spike through Umbel Glaive here, and once we get Infinity Edge, uh, obviously the mid game is pretty much secured. Yeah, the, the build path looks very smooth. Thing is, Jin is not dependent on attack speed items as well. Uh, he does want a lot of crit because of his passive, but... Um, this so he doesn't take that much minion damage. Ooh, Nocturnal where? Yeah, the, the the fact that you can just last or kill wards with one auto is so good for Jin. Mm, I think I stay here. Leona might be moving with him, right? Yeah, I need to I need to move too. Right, that's good enough. Lethality is such a great damage amplification for your spells. <laughs> this is why AD casters buy it. They don't scale with crit, they scale with lethality. And Jin, despite the fact that he scales with crit super hard, uh, also has a lot of power in his spells, especially in the early game. Which does make him a strong AD caster. So yeah. Lethality Jin is actually not that bad. It's just straight up lethality, no crit items. But I really think the mixture of um, crit with lethality is perfect for him. And also the just the quality of life is so amazing. Okay, I got my BF sword. Yeah, we need to leave. Nice. And, ooh, I don't have this. Alright. Uh, next dragon in two minutes, which means we have a little bit of a time window. To go top lane. Oh, there we go. Not nice. 
Okay. But Darius does not want to swap. That's awkward. Getting Leona ulted if I walk there. Does it tell you how many wards you have de uh, detected? I don't think so. Would be nice though. Would be interesting, first and foremost. I can do something. Let's auto him. Mm, I probably did not need to heal there, but it's better safe than sorry. Is life still back up? At least I got my feet footwork proc on a minion, right? Yeah, I need to set up Drake too. Always plant your traps um, where the enemy is autopathing. Okay, I'm fairly healthy. 800 health is alright ish. Everyone just goes after me, all right. Maybe I just go for Guardian Angel's second item. <laughs> Yo, give me the Penta. There, there he is. It's right there. Come on, take him. Hook. Hook. Oh, that's a Penta. That's a Penta. Nice, dude. Right, yeah, this this is this is too much for me. I I want this. Let's just go GA. Straight up GA. I don't care. Who needs crit? Jin has flexible item paths. It's fine. I will deal less damage, but if they can't kill me ever, then that's fine. And I can still get my Infinity Edge third. I don't have the quality of life from Rapid Fire Cannon. But, uh, I mean, you can't have it all, and this team is just so easy to itemize against. I can't let this... I, I, I can't... Uh, I can't ever not take this opportunity. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, so at least my stopwatch killed the Nocturne. At least that. And I get my GA now, it's fine. Already at 9%, so the extra Dorans doesn't do that much. That's a big wave going to waste. Ah, oh, we still sell. Okay, now I should be fine. <laughs> I don't see them killing me anytime soon. And uh, yeah, next up Infinity Edge, of course. Our late game is super strong because, well, Jin tends to fall off, but we have Gathering Storm, and we're going to uh, and we're going to buy Crit now. And Crit is always strong in the late game, right? And also with the with our armor items, there's no way this team ever scales favorably. I think I hit something. I don't know. Yeah, he can try to flank me, but what can he really do? He can't ever kill me. Nice. With this Darius just stacking it up. <laughs>
Mm, yeah, we can take one inhibitor here, then they respawn and we should leave. But actually, we need to leave right now. We don't have the time. Nocturne bot side? Yeah, we can take Baron. Or are we quick enough? It's actually kind of close. I moved away so Kaisa cannot jump too close to Baron. Okay. <laughs> I thought this was a nice play, but Nocturne ulti a denying vision, yeah, happens. Maybe had I pressed B immediately, I could have gone away, but... We were just we were just trapped. I mean we we're on on red side, which means taking Baron is always more risky for us than for them. But yeah, this is what happens. It popped my GA passive, but I don't really need the GA passive to be honest. It's just the <laughs> Yo, they have families, please. Uh, it's just the fact that I have so much armor. I mean, look at it. It's 121 armor. Yeah. If I'm with my team, there's no way they're ever going to kill me. We should all go top lane, by the way. Bot lane, we all, all, all we can take is one inhibitor. Top lane, we can take three towers plus one inhibitor. So top lane, way more lucrative. There's a dragon on the map too. There's some truth to that. Um, maybe we should just move towards the team here. Ah, uh, yeah, going top lane was actually a mistake. I should have. I should have kept the dragon in mind. It's going to be ugly. Yeah. It would have been way better had I been there. So she kills herself in the choke point, that's also fine. Right, we can take one inhibitor and then we go uh, go back and go top lane. Nice Jin stats. It's all coming together. This is risky, yeah. We should not greed for this. Recall, go top lane. Easy. I know this is not warded, so I can go back say- Ooh. But this Umbral Glaive is putting in so much work. Ping yourselves, come on, dude. So I did fail my back timing, but uh, being with my team is the most important thing here. Doctor is not with them, so we can actually crack open their base here. It's just two people defending, there's no way. There's no way they make this. It's 
It's autoing minions for the life steal. Also, the 10% cooldown reduction really matter. I must say, I'm really impressed by Umbral Glaive. That was, that's definitely, it's, it's, it feels so good on Jin. Let me know what you think though, and if you want to see how I play my main champion Misfortune, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.